What's going on guys? Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Twin Finance. My name is Jackson. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the future of the automotive industry and that would entail you know, the emergence of the electric vehicles, job loss, uh, how are these big companies, how are they going to react and, and what are they doing already to, to react to the changing landscape of the automobile world. So yeah, I'm just going to share with you my opinion. If you have your own opinion, please feel free to share it in the comment section below. I love getting feedback from you guys. Yeah, so I'm just going to get right into it. The first thing I want to talk about, guys, gas versus electric cars. Everybody knows, obviously, gas cars, they're still doing real well. Everybody's, you know, still buying all their gas and electric. I mean, got, buying all their gas cars, but what you're going to notice is electric cars, not only Tesla, they're up, their sales are up massive percents, guys. They're up a lot. Tesla's selling more. But you're, gonna, you're already starting to notice Volkswagen's one of the big, the biggest car manufacturers in the world. They're dumping in massive amount, billions of dollars each year into electric car uh, enhancement and whatnot on their, with their team. And they're really pushing for this EV movement too. Obviously Volkswagen, they're going to stick to their brand. What they do is they deliver uh, cheaper, obviously cheaper than Tesla. They're not like cheap cars, but cheaper than Tesla in comparison. So they're just going to bring to the market a flood of EV vehicles, I mean, sorry, electric vehicles to the market at a cheaper price that everybody can afford. And that's their game plan, guys. They're putting in millions and billions of dollars every year. GM's doing that too. GM came out. They closed down six, I believe, six or seven of their plants countrywide, including Canada and the U.S. Um, and I believe that's largely in part they put in a lot more money into their electric vehicle uh, production and whatnot for the for the coming years and I believe the plant closures has a lot to do with that I believe that um, let me just I'll just write down two numbers for you guys real quick so yeah, gas is still doing well too so I'll put that here gas is still doing well the car sales are still doing well but I'm just gonna write two numbers down for you guys so 30,000 is the first one and over here you have three now you're probably wondering what do these numbers even mean well this is the number of moving parts in each of these vehicles. Okay, these are probably a little more, three plus, but it's very low. There's 30,000, up to 30,000 different moving parts in a gas vehicle, guys. You need to think about that for a second. 30,000 per vehicle, right here. As little as three moving parts in an electric vehicle, depending on the complexity of it. Obviously, I believe in Tesla numbers quite a little bit more than that, but I mean, it's nothing relatively close to this. So when you think, just with common sense, guys, what does that mean for not only jobs, but as these companies, as they get together? What, what it means is they're going to they're gonna get more condensed, more efficient. They don't need 50 plants across the country with 10,000 employees at each. Okay, like that's, a, that's an exaggeration, but they don't need 15 plants across the country with 10,000 employees at each of them to make three moving parts for each car. They do if it's 30,000. And you got to think about all the feeder plants too. In my city, it's huge. Chrysler, there's a Chrysler plant and a Ford plant. In my city, that probably takes up because you have feeder plants to these big companies. So you have these big factories that make the cars and all the feeder companies that literally just their whole business is just making stuff for Chrysler. So within my city, I think it's like 40 to 80, 40 to 60,000 jobs between those two companies. The, pop, the working population of my city is probably 150,000, maybe. So it's almost like half of the population is working in and around the automobile. So if GM, if Ford and Chrysler come and say, yeah, we don't need that plan anymore because we only need to make uh, 10 parts for each vehicle. Uh, there's, you know, economies can be not brought down, but they're definitely going to feel it. They're going to feel it. Because the, the, the country, especially America and Canada, everything's based around the automobile. So this just means less. Sorry. Wrote that wrong. Over here, obviously, you need more labor hours. More labor hours. And here, you just need less. So if you need less hours, then you need more simple math, guys. If you need less labor hours, means you need less employees, which means there's going to be less jobs out there. And I really think we're already starting to see the effects of that with GM. I think Chrysler's massively behind the game on everything. I think they haven't, they haven't even put into um, con concept yet an electric vehicle. They haven't even thought about making one. And I really think long term, you might not see anything in the next five to ten years with Chrysler, you know, getting phased out. 
they keep that up though, 10, 15, 20, 25 years go by, they'll be out of business. And I'm not trying to say Chrysler's not a good company and they can't react, it's not too late yet. But I'm just saying, if you guys, if you don't, if you think electric vehicles aren't going to be the car of the future, just for not only resource purposes, but practicality purposes, when they perfect the craft, guys, not only are electric vehicles cheaper, okay, not cheaper to buy, cheaper on gas, like cheaper to fuel, like to move from one place to the next place, it's cheaper. Obviously the upfront cost, but that's because they haven't mastered it. Once they master how to make cheap electric vehicles, like at first, gas cars, they were pretty, they, were, they weren't as expensive as electric, but once the technology got better, the, everything got better, right? And you, you need to realize with electric vehicles, performance. Tesla's cars are the quickest, um, the most torque, like they can tow more than any cars. It, it's just ridiculous, guys. The performance factor that people like about gas cars, it, it, this is still in the baby years of, of, of development. When they get to full stride in development, Everything about a gas car is going to be so far behind, uh, you're just going to see that how much better transportation will be. And that's a topic for another day. But as I said, this is the changing uh, landscape in the automobile industry, guys. And I really think that just with these three things alone here, that it's going to change a lot. So I, ho I hope you guys took a ton of value from this video. Uh, if you guys worked in, automobile, automo in the automotive industry, you know, I definitely... I wouldn't say, you know, like if you're thinking about working there for 30 to 40 years, if, if you work at GM Chrysler, hey, you gotta, I wouldn't say that's the safest bet. Not to say that your job's not good, just to say that stuff's changing. You can see it already. I know a bunch of people who worked in those plants in Oshawa and across, I don't know anyone in the U.S., but I know people who work there, some uh, family, friends and whatnot. Uh, that's, it's just not, you know, it's not a good scene when someone loses their job because they're closing down plants and you know, they're trying to protest with the union and everything. That's just, it's not, it's not a pretty sight, guys. So I believe that this is the movement. This is my opinion. As I said, if you have a different opinion, share in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.